There was a scuffle at the top of the stairs. He was hiding out up there to escape someone who was after shooting him down. It wouldn't take much to trap me in there. My heart's beating quite fast. A horse and it thud to the ground. ghost town called Nelson in Nevada. Now, this ghost town, is it frequented by ghosts or is it just a ghost town? I'm here to find out. <laughs> This town is called Nelson and why could this location be haunted? That is a very interesting question. Well actually this is a wild west town which is now a ghost town, it's now derelict and in its heyday this was a thriving mining community and because of that that attracted a lot of interesting characters and there were so many murders around here because everybody wanted silver and gold and the goodies from the mine. Fun fact, this place is actually called Nelson because of a guy who got murdered here. He was called Charles Nelson, so Nelson was his surname and this town has been named in his honour. I believe he was the first man to be murdered in this area, so I'm wondering, does his ghost still reside here today? <laughs> The local mine was actually
actually called El Dorado Canyon. In the small hours of the morning, there is not a soul here apart from wildlife and perhaps a few lingering spirits. Behind me, in the daytime, this is the local store. But at the moment, it's closed. And as you can see, they're telling everybody to go away. I wonder if they are more welcoming to the spirits that reside here. And I wonder if there are any creepy hotspots Ghost Town is actually quite fascinating. As well as the general store, which is open during the day, there are a number of derelict shacks, there are a lot of abandoned vehicles, and there's even an old petrol station with a little bit of a rusty petrol pump, so I don't think anyone's going to be refueling here today, but it's still a really nice place to walk around. It's a little bit of a historical junkyard and I'm wondering what else I find in the small hours of the morning here. you can see how this area used to be a former mining community. It's almost like a set out of a Hollywood movie because everything is exactly as it was back in the day.
after briefly walking around, I can really sense some hot spots where the energy changes and I feel like I'm going to go inside a few of the barns and conduct a little bit of a paranormal investigation. <laughs> as an active canyon and people were fighting at dawn, gunslinging and the way that they got you scared would be to pull a gun on you and of course that meant that many people got murdered. In fact, in little towns like this, some believe that more people got murdered and met their demise that way than actually died of natural causes. So that would lead me to believe that there are in fact probably quite a lot of unrested souls in this area. And of course, don't forget mining accidents. A lot of people died when trying to dig for treasure. So there's also the possibility that a few lost souls of miners could be roaming around here in the afterlife. Paranormal aside, if anyone is into vintage cars and vintage trucks, this is your playground. There are so many abandoned vehicles from a completely different era. So it's worth stopping off at Nelson if you're a little bit of a car junkie as well. So this place isn't just for horror buffs. In fact, it's actually just a very interesting place to visit if you're staying in Las Vegas because it's about a 40 minute drive from the Strip. And I've been to this place a fair few times. In fact, every time I drive to Vegas, I always make this one of the places that I stop by. I'm strangely drawn to it, and I would say I first found it about 10 years ago, and I've always been fascinated by the history of it, and it's always been a bit of a funny energy for me. Even before I properly believed in ghosts, there was something very magnetic about this area. So it's actually quite nostalgic for me to come back here because I visited it many times over the years and it doesn't change a bit to be honest. It's exactly the same as the first time I came here. And it's even better after dark. For me, 
this is a very high energy area. This was a former garage and workshop, as you can probably see by a lot of the machinery around me. This is, there's a couple of areas in here where I did see a guy as I entered the building, I did see the apparition of a guy and he certainly wasn't from 2024. He had the chaps on and the boots on and he, he's here, I don't know if you can hear that. See, this building is very, very active. I would say this building is probably the most active in the whole area, which is weird because if this indeed was a garage and a workshop, there's not really a necessarily a... There's a lot of residual noise and tapping and... I believe this guy was a cow, but he has like a holster. He's going on about Cigars. I feel like he's here at the bottom of these stairs. I don't know if this guy got killed here. I'm feeling like he got shot and fell down these stairs, potentially. That's the vision that I'm picking up. I feel like he'd come in here to hide. And there was some kind of showdown or something and but he really smells of, I think it's cigar smoke. Hmm. Might go upstairs. Yeah, I'm sensing that this guy, there was a scuffle at the top of the stairs. He was hiding out up there to escape someone who was after shooting him down. And there was a scuffle at the top of the stairs, I feel.
I don't know if how long this building has been standing in the context of the situation. But there's so many noises, this is highly haunted. And I wanna go back to the spot at the bottom of the stairs because I just keep getting drawn back that way. And I wonder why that is. I suppose during that day and age, a lot of these deaths and a lot of these scuffles largely went unreported. I feel like I wanna ask a few questions in the spot that I keep getting drawn to. Did something happen here? Did someone die here? Okay, I feel like I feel like perhaps I'm sensing this staircase. What on earth is that noise? But I also feel that before this structure was even built, there was deaths in this area. So I feel like more than one person died in this area. Oh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Did multiple people die near here? Yeah. I'm getting the name Bucky or Buckland. Was someone here who had a nickname Bucky? Sorry, that pulled my focus. Is someone here who has the name Bucky? Yeah. I feel like the buildings are alive. Do you want me to leave? Yeah, the cowboy. I feel like his name could be Bucky. I'm not 100% on that. Well, that was certainly his nickname. I don't think he was christened or born or named by his parents, Bucky, but. But there's something else, there's something else. You can hear like quite a lot of laughter. 
It's childlike. And a horse. A horse got short hair too, I can hear. A horse and it thud to the ground. Yeah, he got caught up in the crossfire. So I can sense the death of a horse near here. I can hear the hooves. Yeah, I can hear the hooves like passing by. And it's quite amazing how if you just take a moment to sit I can see when there was a life here. I feel like I need to get out of this space now, it's a bit draining for me. I've stumbled upon this little shack, which is really cool and really interesting. As you can see, there's a few skeletons here that are not necessarily in the closet. There is a basement down here. I feel like this basement at some point may have seen a few bodies.
not necessarily. I feel like something dark happened. I don't want to jump to the wrong conclusion, so I'm going to keep what I'm envisaging in my head because I don't want to. I don't want to say actually. enough. Yeah. I kind of find like the energy down there is a little off and considering that the door is propped open by a plank of wood then if there is anything supernatural down there it wouldn't take much to trap me in there. My heart's beating quite fast. As you can probably tell by the sunlight bursting through the windows, it's now sunrise in Nelson and I survived after dark, all alone, in a ghost town. I did encounter a few ghosts, but I feel like this is perhaps where the story of Nelson and me ends.
This place is certainly a different place in the daylight. It doesn't have that haunting atmosphere. Some areas do still have quite a heavy energy because of all the history that happened near the El Dorado Canyon. When I was picking up on different spirits and different apparitions in one of the barns, part of me just would have loved to experience what life was actually like in Nelson during the mining days. I bet it was pretty lively and pretty exciting. I feel like there was a lot of trouble here, obviously, but I feel like there was quite a lot of fun to be had here. And I quite fancy myself as a country and Western woman <laughs> from another era. In fact, I feel like I've dressed a little bit like a woman from another era. So I blend perfectly with this beautiful backdrop. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did and you got this far, then thank you very much. If you've ever been to Nelson, then share your ghost stories or share any stories of Nelson. I feel like during the day, it's a great place to stop off and have a wander around. There's a little shop and it's certainly out of a Hollywood movie or a storybook. And it's pretty special to encounter these places that are somehow lost in time. So I will leave you here. Bye from Brakar.